Hey everyone, Brendan here, back with another video. We're looking at a couple automation flows today. And a couple weeks back, I did a video on Task Magic about scraping data from a website and putting it into a Google spreadsheet like this and having your organized columns. Today, we're going to use that data to put into a WordPress site. This is just a local install I have. I have a custom post type for books. I created the custom fields. There's just title, author, genre, year published. And I have a couple of different ways I can do this. So um, in fact, if I refresh here, you can see there's no books. I have some of the trash because it's all auto scheduling this import. And so I have a tool called Ultimate CSV Importer Pro. This does cost money, I think, to do to do, uh, the custom fields. So keep that in mind. Uh, basically, what you do is you upload the URL of the spreadsheet. And so you just hit from URL, come back to your spreadsheet, file, share, publish to web. And instead of the whole document, you can just do the sheet that we're using. Grab the, uh, make sure that instead of web, it's CSV. <coughs> Grab this link and put it in the file path here. Hit continue. You map all the fields. And then uh, you basically have a schedule option. You can smart schedule it. I have it set to run every five minutes. Um, so it should be working already in the background. And you can come in, uh, in here and change this to instead of every five minutes, you can have it run every day, one time, etc. But the whole idea is to have this synced and scheduled. So again, if I come back here to the custom post types, it's already in the background. It's added those 45 books. We go ahead and delete those because it's working. And I will show you another way to get this uploaded. And this could be for products. It could be for custom post types, whatever. Um, but essentially with task magic, this is the second way to do it. Uh, you record yourself creating the first custom post type once, and then you play those steps back. And I have here at the top to loop between all those steps, because what it does is when it finishes, it tries to add the next one. So you can add, um, you can have it go multiple at a time. I'm going to have it go from the second row. I'm only going to do two rows at a time, but you, this could be, you know, a hundred, um, and so if I hit play steps, I'll kind of walk you through. I know there's a lot going on here, but um, I'll walk you through kind of what's going on. So I've already recorded my automation or like the, the mouse and uh, keyboard movements. And so I'll move my mouse over here on the right. And you can see um, it's moving independently. There's another note here. Chrome is being controlled by automated test software there. It's clicking the... Um, custom post type, it's hitting add new, it's clicking the title, and then this little variable here, this book title, is pulling in from the spreadsheet. So book title, at book title, at author, at year published, those are all variables, like imagine dynamic data in a website builder like Bricks. And it's looping through that, and it's typing in the year, it's, it's grabbing that for each one, and it's not just typing, it's clicking in the book genre, and then it's typing in the genre, clicking on the little check mark, going up to publish, hitting publish, and then potentially hitting add new, and moving on to the next book. So you get the idea that it is doing it sort of automatically, but not quite as much of an import tool as something like the CSV importer. So two different ways to get your custom post types um, in your WordPress site without having to really log in and do it yourself. And you hopefully make fewer mistakes this way. Hopefully you uh, can save time. And um, you know, I'll, I'll admit both these tools cost money, but again, you're, you're trying to save time overall. So there it's done those two. If I go to refresh here, we see before we had 45. Now here's two, these are the two that the automated software just added. You can see that still newly added because I can't, uh, it says it's locked. So there it is. Um, that's how you get some WordPress sites, uh, WordPress custom post types in your, in your West, in your WordPress site and hopefully save some time. All right. See ya. Thanks for watching.